Thanks for tuning in to Crafty Chassis. Today we're going to make these really cool bottle solar lights out of recycled bottles. So you'll find in your kit that you have a Tupperware that has a lot of different materials in it. There's everything from different rocks to some instructions, um, this etching cream. We've also got a paintbrush and some greenery that's going to go into the bottle. Um, first, we're going to start with these really cool stickers, these stencils that um, are actually going to go on the bottle and this is what you're going to etch into the side. So first off, you're going to peel, unpeel this and you want to make sure that you stick this directly where you'd like it onto the bottle. So I'm thinking right in this area and you'll press down <clears throat> the sticker. I've also got another one here that says family. So we're going to Put this one on as well. Now these are just going to add kind of a cool effect, an etching effect. So the etching glue is actually in the bottle and you want to be really careful with the etching glue. You don't want to get it onto your hands or into your eyes or on your skin. So basically you're just going to be using, you'll be using just the paintbrush to get the etching cream onto the bottle. Okay, so now that you have your stickers onto the bottle, we're basically going to carefully open up the etching cream. Now remember, don't get this on your skin or in your eyes. If you do, immediately flush it with water. So you're basically going to go into this negative space here and generously put on this etching cream. Now you don't want to get outside the lines of the sticker because it will etch the glass in other areas. So if you just want to have this pattern on your bottle, so you kind of paint this on and then repeat down here with your other stencil. And once you have all the etching cream on, you're gonna actually pause for about 15 minutes and let the etching do its magic. So I'll see you back here in just a minute, 15 minutes. Okay, now that your etching has started to set into the bottle, you're gonna actually take this over to the faucet and rinse it from this point down. Don't get any water into the bottle if you can avoid that. So keep the stickers on, rinse this off, and we're gonna pull the stickers off. I'll see you back here in a few minutes. Okay, so your bottle's totally rinsed off and the stickers off. Now what's cool about this is as it dries, you can actually dry it off you'll actually see this etching in there. It's a little hard with the lighting here, but that's a pretty cool effect. So now the next part is super fun. We get to actually fill the bottle with tons of stuff. You'll see there's rocks, there's shells, there's all sorts of things in your kit. So I'm just gonna start putting some stuff in here. If you have other shells or other things that you wanna fit into here, just make sure it fits through the bottle hole here, the top of it. Um, some things you can do, which are kind of fun if you wanted to paint the rocks or do some different colors on your rocks. I mean, this is just kind of time to get creative. Um, I've also had people put feathers in here before, um, which kind of makes it a cool effect. So yeah, basically you're just going to have fun at this point, just building this up, making a mess, which is always fun. Um, so yeah, I'm going to just kind of put, I've got the, the white rocks down here, so you'll see those are kind of in there, and I'm going to just do a little bit of a small layering effect here. Let's see, this is still a little wet here, but, um, and then I've got these cool different colored rocks. Now these can kind of just dump directly in as well. I'm going to add some of those. 
And then I've got some cool different rocks and shells and I don't know, you could also do um, some sand if you want, but sometimes the sand, the residue kind of gets on the inside of the bottle. So it just depends on what kind of look you're going for. So got these cool little decorative. So now we've got this building up here. Here's some more lights down here. Rock colors. Cool. And we've got some of these. Another fun tool that you might want to have on hand would be like a skewer or possibly a, uh, if you want to get in here and kind of move stuff around, you can kind of shake the bottle around a bit. Um, let's see, we've also got some little shells we're going to put in here. But yeah, I just kind of build this up and it kind of gives it some cool layering effects in here. And then finally, we've got some greenery that's going to go into the bottle. Um, so this is kind of cool, just to kind of give it a little more dimension and you just kind of, yep, let it fall in. So it kind of looks natural down there. And again, oh, you get your finger stuck. Can I use that? So yeah, now we're kind of looking at something pretty interesting here. And then the final piece is your solar light. So these are actually um, solar powered. So you're gonna to wanna to have this placed into a window that gets some sun and then at night it will light up. Um, I suggest, you know, you could have these outside but you want to make sure that they're not in the middle of a crazy rainstorm or snowstorm or something because might ruin everything that's inside the bottle. So I think this is kind of a cool thing to have indoors. Um, kind of gives you that effect. So you're gonna gently undo these little lights, they're little fairy lights here. And then, now keep in mind, it's a solar light, so it won't light during the day until, obviously, until it gets dark out, but, um, and they need to kind of charge up too. So just make sure they're getting enough sunlight to be charged. And then you just kind of gently string these down. And again, this might be good for your skewer or chopstick effect here. You can kind of just get these in here. So I'm just kind of putting it into the bottle and you can kind of adjust as you go. And just, they're a little tricky, but you just have to be patient and get them down in there. And then you can kind of adjust as you go, but just to give you a quick example, if I cover this, it should light up. So, yep, so there you go. We've got some cool bottle light lantern made out of recycled bottles and really fun materials. So. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this and you can kind of mess with this and add things to it and make it your own. So thanks for getting creative and we'll see you next time.